The Shure MB7 may be the best value microphone for YouTubers, podcasters, and live streamers. This mic is inspired by the legendary SM7B, but it's almost half the price. Today, we're diving into the details, checking out the pros, the cons, and who this mic is for. The first and most important pro of this microphone is the quality. It just sounds pretty dang awesome. Shure uses voice isolation technology to help keep the mic laser focused on your voice and remove unwanted background noise. In my testing, I have found that this microphone does a great job at this. I also love the full sound that the microphone captures. The coolest and most unique feature of this microphone is that it offers both XLR and USB connections. This makes it one of the most versatile options on the market. You can connect it directly to your computer via USB for live streams and voiceovers, or for long form on location content, you can connect this via XLR to an audio recorder. This is amazing because you no longer need multiple microphones for multiple jobs. You can now have one that does it all. Prior to the MV7, I was using the Rode NT USB. This has been a great mic for me for years, especially in situations where I could tweak the sound in post. However, now that I've started live streaming more often where I can't tweak the sound in post, the road has just been a little bit too trebly and thin for my liking. This is what made me seek a solution and ultimately led me to the MV7. Thanks to the Motive software which comes with the microphone, I can now get a more fuller sound for my live streams. You can go full auto settings and let the software do the work for you, or you can get as custom and dialed as you want to. Plus, you can save presets for different tasks or people. Let's take a listen to some examples as I tell you about today's sponsor. Soundstripe is an incredible music licensing platform where I get all of my music for both YouTube videos and client work. They are always expanding their library of music and have awesome filter tools to help you find the right track for your project. I've been using them for years, way before I started my YouTube channel, and I genuinely think they are the best value music licensing platform available. And they have recently added both sound effects and stock video plans to their site. Compared to the competition, they are already super affordable, but you can also use code CREATIVE20 to save yourself 20% at checkout. Now I spend less time searching and more time creating. I'm really liking this sound. Now let's compare it to the Rode mic. I placed a link to Soundstripe in the description below. Make sure to use code CREATIVE20 at checkout. I've placed a link to Soundstripe in the description below. Make sure to use code CREATIVE20 at checkout. That's a crazy difference and I really think it will help boost the quality of my live streams. A cool feature of this microphone is the form factor. It offers built-in headphone monitoring and onboard touchscreen controls to adjust gain and monitoring levels. Plus, the microphone looks very professional like the SM7B. There's even some websites where you can customize the colors and make it your own. In my testing, I have found that there is one major con to this microphone, and that is the pop filter. The pop filter kinda sucks. Right out of the box, it does not do a great job of treating plosives. This was almost a deal breaker for me until I found out that you can purchase the SM7B pop filter for about 15 bucks. That pop filter is incredible, and it fits perfectly on the MV7. Look at the difference of visibility between these two pop filters when holding it up to a light source. It's visibly evident which one is better. Let's check out this before and after test. This is a microphone test where I am checking the plosives. Pretty please like and subscribe to this channel. This is a microphone test where I am checking the plosives. Pretty please like and subscribe to this channel. So even though the pop filter that comes with the MB7 is a con, it is an easy $15 fix. The other thing I wish that you could do is to completely turn off the light indicators when it's plugged in to the computer. The software does allow you to dim the lights, but it would be nice to have a completely off feature. All right, now let's talk about who this mic is for. This microphone is designed for content creators. If you are streaming and doing podcasts and creating talking head content like this, 
then this is one of the best value options for you. The cool thing for me personally is I no longer need multiple types of microphones for different studio tasks, which ultimately makes this microphone that much more valuable for the price. As good as the MV7 is, there are still some situations like vlogs where you won't really be able to use it. To find out three other ways to record better audio, continue on to this video here. Thanks so much for watching and as always, stay creative. Peace.